Hello, it's Jennifer from Sea Lemon. Last year, I decided to give myself a little personal challenge on my Patreon, doodle every letter of the alphabet in desert plant prompts. And if you're a patron, you know what I'm talking about, but if you're not, I put the prompts up every week on my doodle lemon tier, which by the way, I have updated since to just support more doodle content in general and not do prompts every week. You can go check it out if you're interested. Back to why I'm making this video. Basically, I didn't finish my own challenge, which is not a surprise. I am notorious for not finishing my own challenges, but I am on a mission and I'm going to finish this doodle challenge because I'm so close to the end of it. And I mainly started it to better my skills and procreate and give myself a challenge to kind of better my art in general. When I finish these, I plan to make stickers and prints out of the letters for my limited lemon patrons. I'll talk more about what I learned from this exercise. So join me in this mission to finish the alphabet of desert plant prompts and maybe you'll get some procreate inspiration, some doodle ideas, or you could just chill out to some doodle footage. If you want to join in on the fun, I will put all 26 letter desert plant prompts in the description so you can do your own challenge. I left off on the letter S, so this is for a strawberry hedgehog plant, and I'm just making my own version of that in an S. If you do these prompts on your own, don't feel like you have to do it digitally and procreate. That's just what I chose because I wanted to get better at using Procreate, but uh, definitely feel free to do these in paint, pencil, whatever medium you like. After doing 26 of these, I can say that doing a challenge like this can help you get better at a medium if you, that is what you're going for. And I chose the alphabet because you don't have to really think of what to draw. You already know the shapes of letters. You just have to translate something in that shape. And in doing so, it can also help you hone in on more of your style or skills. And that's another reason why I did it. I kind of feel like I want to hone in on the style I gravitate toward when I'm drawing or doodling, just because I feel like I'm all over the place. And I don't know if that's like cliche to try to find your artistic style. I'm sure there's like so long of discussions you can have on this topic. But um, I just wanted to really hone in on what style I gravitate toward, what I like drawing, and that way, when I have it, I can apply that to future art. And then I feel like I won't be so all over the place and um, I feel like it will make me more focused and uh, help me make art a little bit faster and make more of what I want to make. So I'm not wasting so much of my time trying to figure out how this subject should look. It's it's kind of like a language. Once you learn a language, you can use that to translate an idea, to communicate, and I guess I'm trying to find my language. I don't know if any of this makes sense. Uh, sorry if it doesn't. These are just the thoughts that are going on in my head. Anyway, this is what I'm going for, trying to figure out my style, and if that's where you are at in your artistic journey, uh, maybe this will be inspiration for you. Try this out. Let me know how it goes. I noticed I gravitate more toward graphic and slightly abstract and organic forms, so I was trying to incorporate more of that into these letters. I had become more comfortable in drawing more realistic in Procreate, but I just kind of get bored with that style sometimes, and after a while I feel like it's more fun to interpret things in an abstract way, and again, I like simple, graphic, organic, so incorporating more of that into my art.
Also, drawing on an iPad has somehow made me more confident when I'm drawing on a physical canvas. I think because I can experiment so much in this without wasting so much materials, and this is really easy to undo things, so there, there's so many versions of something you can make in this, so then I can take that experience and apply it to a sketchbook or paper. I finally finished all 26 letters and I have to admit this felt really good because this challenge has just been weighing on me so it felt really nice to finish this. And now I can make stickers out of these letters. I laid them out in a letter size sticker sheet which I'm going to have printed. I usually print my own stickers but for this I think it's a little bit easier for me to have them professionally printed. My printer has been acting up so I'm going this route. I'm making outlines around the letters in Photoshop so the printer knows where the kiss cut is. So just the artwork, these letters will come off the paper. The printer I'm sending it to doesn't cut stickers that are smaller than one inch, but I still wanted to use the extra space around the artwork. So I added some flowers in between the white space. So if you do get these sheets, you can cut those out and then peel off the sticker. You could also use the extra sticker space, draw on it, and cut it out. Do whatever you like. For now, these are only available to my Limited Lemon patrons who sign up during the month of March, but in the future, I might add these to my Redbubble shop, so let me know if that's something you guys would like. For those who want early access, you can sign up on my Limited Lemon tier on my Patreon by March 31st, the end of this month, to get two sticker sheets and any pledge on my Patreon goes to supporting more content on my channel in general. Of course, find all of that information and good stuff in the description. And keep in mind, if you only want these stickers and you don't want to continue pledging every month, you don't have to, you can cancel at any time. Please don't feel obligated to pledge on this site. It's only there for people that really want to, and it's free to follow me on Patreon. I update and post regularly. It's also kind of nice because social media is very saturated and this is kind of a nice quiet place to get my regular updates. So go hit that follow button, it's free. Here's a quick printout that I did with my printer which is printing a lot darker and acting up lately. So this isn't what the final version will look like but this will give you an idea of the size of these sticker sheets. A big thanks to my patrons and YouTube members for allowing me to explore my artistic endeavors and share more creative projects with you. I hope you got some inspiration from this, and again, all of those prompts will be listed in the description if you want to try this challenge out for yourself. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell right next to it so you can get notified every time I post a new video. If you're looking for more doodle challenges, I have a whole playlist full of videos that have free downloads templates in the descriptions. Go check them out. You can print them out at home or wherever you want to doodle away. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!